Hey guys, long time no see. Um, just been busy working, haven't been doing much fishing. I've gone on two trips since Washington's open fishing here. It'll be a full week um, tomorrow actually. So before I get into this video for this month's Mystery Tackle Box unboxing, I wanna give a shout out to two companies here. First off, Hyperviz Plus Tape. Um, Kelly and the crew down there, top-notch customer service first off uh, products amazing I mean look at this flash uh, they come in all different colors um, check them out check them out on Facebook they've got a website go pick some up also I want to shout out to sugar tick custom lures so I ordered a whole bunch of blanks I'm going to start doing my own uh, airbrushing um, and look at the quality of some of these blanks they got Nice little 2.5 square bill there. And then here's a top water popper. Nice little BBs in there to make some noise. Quick shipping um, came from Southern Carolina or South Carolina, however you want to say it. Uh, came quick. Um, I'm really impressed. I can't wait to get start painting them. My paint arrives today, so um, stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get back to the main reason we're here. This month's mystery tackle box. It will be May's mystery tackle box. This whole coronavirus, quarantine, everything has got me so thrown off. So anyways, I'm gonna try to make it quick. We'll jump right into it. All right, let's see what we got here. Got our The Dibble Tips and Tricks, as always. Um, jigs and trailers, and how to set up a Texas rig. Um, some pretty good stuff. Texas rig, pretty easy. So, anyways, where do anglers poop? Oh man, that's probably pretty comical. I'm not going to read it. All you need to know is it says, where do anglers poop? Get that out of the way. Got our sticker here. It's kind of cool. Like parachuting in um, square bill or some kind of deep diving um, crankbait. Kind of neat. Put that over here. We have our inside the box. Here's the tips and tricks, but I'm going to leave that off to the side because I'm assuming that has to do with um, the lures in the box. So let me dig through here. We're just going to go through this one, um, one at a time. I got my card here to tell me the price. I'll get that off screen so you can't really see it there. All right. First up, we have our DL Tackle. Bradley Roy Pro Series Baby Advantage Jig. Weird. It's kind of nice. I like the small profile. It's like a little bluegill. I mean, it's got blue in there. It could be like a craw or something. I don't know. Kind of neat. According to this um, thing here, it says this is $4.19. Put it up there. Oh, what do we got here next? The Pro Series. These things are gnarly. Pro Series Zone Lures. Floating Craws. So, according to this thing, they're called Adventure Bug. Definitely some kind of craw. I'm just going to open this sucker up. Yeah, pop that sucker. Got good action on that there. Like these little wings here. Kind of need to get you a little bit closer. Anyways, so these, it's a three, it's a four pack of those. And according to this, those retail for $2.99. Next, we got some hooks, some offset hooks. 
There's Stickies Offset Worm Hooks. These will run you $2.10. Not horrible. Just straight. Not, they're not your EWG. Just worm hooks. Really sharp. Set the hook right in that piece, uh, piece of cardboard like thing here. All right, next up we have Lunker Hunt Lunker Sticks. And I really like this. So, first off, these are $4.99. It's just a Senko. It's like a green, light green and dark green natural. This is amazing, like for this time of the year. Really good action on those suckers. What I really appreciate though. Look how many of those we get compared to the other one, the other pack. Um, ah, that's cool. You got what? Got five right there. Got ten pack. Ten Senkos compared to three or four mud bug deals. I don't know. I enjoy these Senkos. I'm going to fish the... Well, go and fish them. Make sure I get it all closed up right here. Don't want them drying out. All right, last but not least, this bait, according to this, is ten dollars and forty nine cents. The Strike Pro Swing Pop. That is, that's awesome. I'm really excited to throw this sucker. It's gonna be a top water popper. Uh, it has an I'm going to just pull it out. It's got a cool shape to it. Very noisy sucker. That's looking at the bill there. Won't come back. So that's looking at the bill. It's got a nice like iridescent on the bottom. That purplish pink you can kind of see from different angles. Um, nice like troutish pattern or perchish pattern. Bluegillish, I don't know. Um, could be a lot of different things depending on what the fish see. I like the hollow background too. It gives it a really nice uh, detail when you're moving it. See all those colors change in between blue and purple and green and all kinds of cool stuff. Really, I'm not going to pay $10 for this. Like nobody in their right mind should pay $10.50 for this. Something like this. Well, weird. I didn't notice that screw on the thing there it's kind of funky anyways ten dollars 49 cents for this popper uh eh, i don't know don't know how excited i am but we're going to fish that all right so that's that's our box i guess um pretty pretty quick one there was only like four or five things that one the one crankbait here this sucker took up most of the chunk of change that they allot for um what they spend so well whatever we'll get out and fish it um go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe um let me know if these videos are even something you like watching um i do have a lot more stuff in the works i'm going to be building a paint booth i'm going to be building a vacuum mold thing to make uh stencils for my lure blanks i'm going to be making lure painting videos i've got all kinds of stuff in the works i just got to actually do it well and get my paints so with that being said i'm going to leave it here you guys have a good day tight lines <laughs>